Hey guys, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? I'm just making sure my uh, microphone is picking up property. I put a filter on it, so hopefully it sounds okay. Um, this is kind of an update on the channel and my health. Basically, um, some of you have seen already that Friday, which is yesterday, I uploaded, uh, started uploading a new series called Mar Minecraft Hardcore. Basically, um, there's a person I watch, uh, Jan.com, from Hypermind, and she's kind of derpy and stuff, and she decided to do, like, a, um, hardcore series, and I thought, hey, that would be a good idea, and so I've been recording a hardcore series, and those episodes are going to be coming out every Friday, so if you like me trying to stay alive in hardcore mode, um, every Friday, and the series will end when I die, so hopefully I will, won't die right away, um, I can say, nothing about that right now so um <laughs> so uh, basically when this series is done i'm gonna bring back the doom because i've already pre-recorded it and i have them um so it's doom episode two when this hardcore is it's gonna replace the hardcore series so basically i started with the doom episode one which was nine videos then the hardcore series now i'm gonna do Doom episode two when this hardcore series gets over then I'm gonna start a second hardcore series then I'm gonna do doom episode three then probably do another hardcore series and keep alternating between the two because doom is the game that got me into gaming and I think I should at least go through the initial dooms that I played when I was a kid or in my 20s because I'm old um, I don't have to tell you that oh. <laughs> Uh, don't mind me, it's been a rough couple of days, so I'm a little kooky right now. Uh, what else is going on? I found out yesterday that after... <laughs> I'm going to call it Afterlife, Jesus. <laughs> Athens MC, which is a server I belong to. Afterlife is a server that a friend of mine, Whitefire, belongs to. Go check him out. He just hit 100 episodes and did a world tour. Whitefire, fire with a F-Y-R. Um, he's really good, so check him out. Um, but Athens MC, which is a server I belong to, uh, is restarting their snapshot, uh, server with dungeons and stuff, um, which should be interesting because it's going to add a different feel to the whole series. And on July 16th, so here's the deal, what I plan on doing with this, and I hope I can do this. It's basically, I want to stream that series. I want to stream everything I do on after <laughs> on Athens MC um, basically three times a week stream it and take however long the stream is and cut it down to like 20 minutes and release episodes maybe two or three a week or maybe one I don't know it depends on how well the streams go or how interesting recording everything is on the Athens MC server so in the future you will start seeing more content from a server and hopefully I can do some collabs and there's going to be uh, dungeons and stuff on the server and also it seems like from the video that um, I I saw from Slime the King who's kind of running everything with King 601 right now um, it seems like um, where was I going Oh, it seems like they're going to try and do UHCs a lot, have competitive things, so it'll be really cool. And if you want to be a part of this, um, a new map is coming July 16th, I believe, and it is going to be the latest snapshot. So whatever snapshot they're working on, it's going to be the latest stable snapshot, I'll say. Stable is a key word. Um, so go to Athens MC. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo or underneath in the description to the server if you want to apply if you're not part of the server it's gonna be great and we're gonna be doing lots of <clears throat> UHCs and lots of kinda of like race for the wool it almost looks like he hasn't released all the info yet on this but it looked like he had kind of a race for the wool type thing and that would be pretty awesome because um, I don't know why I'm holding the keyboard like I'm playing the game um, because race for the wool is actually what got me into Minecraft <laughs> um, six seven i don't even know how long it's been now but i remember seeing michael uh etho um i think even S fb disco was back there doing the race for the wall so it was what got me into minecraft to begin with so if if what i saw was right um it will be very nice or a challenge 
it it showed like two <laughs> I'm getting too far into this already. It showed two rows, so it looks like there's going to be two teams trying to compete to get something a la Race for the Wool, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to have the series on Friday, the series jams on Monday. Friday is going to be either Doom or Hardcore, and Monday is going to be my jams, just another Minecraft series. <laughs> um, I love saying that. Um... And Athens MC, maybe I'll just stick one video on Wednesdays. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I'm going to be streaming that on Beam. Or at least I plan on it. So I have a Beam KMA's corner. You can go there, uh, subscribe. And I should be, I don't even think I have it set up. So when I go streaming, it sends a link to Twitter. But I will set that up. So if I do start streaming on Beam, um, again, there will be a Twitter announcement. So follow me on Twitter, KMA's Corner, Beam, KMA's Corner, YouTube, KMA's Corner, whatever, KMA's Corner, <laughs> KMA's Corner at Gmail. <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, what I wanted to say was an update on my health. And then, then I'm going to end the video. March 17th, I had my gallbladder removed because mo most of my life I've been overweight. A doctor has told me, that my ideal weight, because I'm a big guy, I mean, I'm a big guy, even if I was skinny, because I have been skinny, I'm still a big guy. Um, I'm over six feet tall, my bones are huge, and my ideal weight, believe it or not, is between 220 and 230 with my body type. Oh, you know, think linebacker, football. That's my body type. Um, so two, 220 is actually my goal 240 would be awesome for my weight and um so i've always been like 40 50 pounds overweight then about 10 years ago i settled down with a f someone and um then i had uh somebody cooking me some decent food and i gained about 100 pounds and eventually i ended up being 410 pounds plus i couldn't even weigh myself because this 400 pound scale would come up err that's how heavy I was. So I knew that health issues were going to happen. So I started losing weight. And unfortunately, and this is a side product of losing weight, I lost like 70 pounds. And in the process of losing the 70 pounds, my gallbladder ended up having some stones. It got infected and it gave me pancreatitis, which is an infection of your pancreas. And basically your pancreas um, creates bile to... Uh, digest fats in your system and it gives it to the gallbladder and the gallbladder holds on to this bile and whenever you eat like a hamburger or something fatty the bile comes out of the gallbladder to help you digest the fats but my gallbladder is now gone now so what has started happening is that my pancreas just released the, the bile constantly into my small intestines there's no reg uh, there's no valve there to turn it up or turn it down or turn it off completely so my uh, stomach has been getting filled with bile, which has caused gastritis, which is not a fun thing. And I've been dealing with, I, I can't go to work when I have gastritis because basically, you know, when you take a nine volt battery and you stick your tongue on it, that's how my stomach feels when I have gastritis. It's like almost energetic and it's like, uh, and it's constant and it, because of that it gets nauseous so what happened was, was, was happening with me is I would wake up at my normal time like 4 35 o'clock in the morning and before I'd eat anything or even get my clothes on I'd be throwing up in you know in the bathroom and uh, I was missing a ton of work and so forth so I just had a test done this last couple of days just to make sure everything is okay and uh, they did find out that I have the gastritis. They did find out that I have diverticulosis, which uh, was a complication from diverticulitis in the past, which is another thing. But basically, my stomach is weak. Um, my stomach lining is basically gone. I have a hard time absorbing nutrition. So if I eat something good, if I'm in a gastritic state at the time where my stomach feels like it's connected to a 9-volt battery and I feel like... Um, Remember Full Metal Jacket, the uh, the chunky guy, he kept on screwing up and everybody took socks and put like rolls of quarters in the socks and was beating his stomach. That's kind of how <laughs> his stomach felt. It felt like people were beating my stomach up. And I couldn't really work under that and I need to work because I have a family and I need to make money. 
So I, we needed to figure out what the f hell was going on. <laughs> so um, I had the test and I had to um, do some things I didn't want to do for the tests. But it, it's over with and luckily I don't have any ulcers. Luckily I don't have any major things. It's just I have to figure out how to control the gastritis. So I'm going to be on medicine for the rest of my life to help control that. And now I have to eat. And this is kind of ironic. They gave me one of the medicines is don't take an hour before. I mean, you have to take it either an hour before you eat or three hours after you eat. So that is a four hour span. And I'm supposed to take it three times a day. And at the same time, when he gives me this, he says, you're supposed to instead of eating two or three big meals each day, eat six or seven meals, small meals a day. And that will keep the bile from uh, building up and the bile will erode my stomach lining and cause problems. So now I'm going to have to eat seven, eight times a day, like small portions instead of a big meal, um, which is okay, I guess. I like big meals, but I guess, you know, for staying alive and having being alive in comfort is a lot better than being alive out of comfort. So I'm going to do that, but it's really hard to take those three times a day where I have to take it without meals within four hours and I'm supposed to eat eight meals a day so that's 32 hours and then it's 24 hours a day so I'm trying to figure out how to do that a little rant there um, so basically everything is okay um, I wish these problems didn't happen to me um, the reason why another issue with this and I'm gonna end the video um, is the bile normally wouldn't affect people's stomachs like it does mine. But when I was a kid, I used to get massive headaches. I was diagnosed with migraine, cluster migraine headaches, so I used to take a ton of Excedrin. You know, um, they, two, you can take uh, Excedrin, two Excedrin every four to six hours. Do not go over, I think it's six pills a day or something like that. In high school every day I was taking 25 to 35 excedrins a day and all that along with the ibuprofen eroded a lot of my stomach and so I have to stop taking the excedrin. I mean after I got out of school and I realized um, that the cluster headaches were gone and it was actual sinus headaches and two Tylenol sinus it would actually get rid of the headaches for me where excedrin wouldn't do anything that's why I kept on taking so much because the headaches weren't going away. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I, <clears throat> after high school, I stopped taking so much Excedrin, but I was still taking four of them a day, two in the morning and two when I came home from work. So now I'm not allowed to take that. So it's just Tylenol and anything without NSAIDs, which, um, I guess I'm going to have to get used to life without caffeine because that's where my caffeine was. I used to drink a ton of soda and I used to drink a ton of caffeine with it. But part of the way I lost the weight was I stopped drinking soda and I started drinking water. So, um, so I've been losing the weight, and but I stopped drinking a whole bunch of caffeine, but I was still getting the caffeine with the Excedrin. But now I'm cutting the caffeine out with the Excedrin. So I don't have, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea. So I don't have any intake of caffeine. So my body kind of has to reintroduce itself to life without caffeine, which will be good in the long run, but we'll see how my energetic energy level goes. Maybe I'll start drinking Red Bull or something. I don't know. But so far, so good. I haven't had caffeine in like three days, and as you can see, I'm kind of spiked right now. I don't know why. But anyways, my health, um, yes, it's deteriorating, but it's not so bad um, that it's going to affect me anymore. Hopefully, with the eating properly, eating as much, uh, you know, spread out through the day, and uh, so forth, I can get my stomach controlled again so I don't get the gastritis, which will make me miss work and make me feel like crap. And uh, I can continue doing stuff, and hopefully uh, that will keep me able to um, record and do the streams like I want to. So basically, 2016 has sucked. Big donkey dick. And um, hopefully the rest of the year won't suck as bad as it has so far. There was one other thing I was going to say, I think. Oh, work life. Um, when I lived in Boston, I tried to apply for the post office, and they said it would take four or five years before you became 
a, had your own regular route and you just did your route and went home. But before you got your regular route, when you did your route that you're working that day, you'd have to go help other people and finish them off. And if you're at a bad post office, that's 12, 14 hours a day because other people suck and can't do their job as well as they're supposed to. So plus when you're training people and stuff, you have to go out and help them finish the job. So I came to Florida and I got a job at the post office in, in Boston. I thought four to five years was too long, but they told me three to five years. I'm like, ah, well, okay. Well, give me a good job at least, and I can wait to three to five years. Now it's been almost a decade later, and I'm still in the fill-in position. I still don't have my own route, and every single day I go to work, I have to go help other people. And it sucks because I'm working six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, and it's 10 to 12 hours a day, especially when I'm helping people. If I can do my route and go home, it's like six hours a day, which would be perfect. So basically what I'm saying is in a couple of months, I'm number one. And they're making a route for me right now. So as soon as this route is done, I have my own route, which will be hopefully in August, maybe September. And then I can stop helping other people. So I can work my six, eight hours on a bad day and come home. And that is perfect for me to be able to do Minecraft and do the videos and do the streaming that I want to do. But until that time, I might have some... Uh, trouble staying to the schedule, especially when I add Athens and C to the course. Um, so hopefully, um, I'll become regular soon and have the extra time to do what I really want to do with the recordings and stuff. But anyways, that's basically an update of everything. Um, sorry, there was a whole bunch of health issues there, and I dragged on a little bit about that. But it's been a major issue in my life recently, and it's kind of sucked. So. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and, um, oh, look at this. Happy Father's Day card. <laughs> and still the All Out J thing. <laughs> but anyways, have a good day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Thank you for putting up with this little vlog. Um, I just kind of, every once in a while, I, a month or so, I'd like to send one of these out to kind of give you guys an update and on my health and what's going on with Minecraft and my future schedule. So have a great day. It's Keith, KMA Corners. Bye-bye.